My name is Himan Shakiri. I'm an assistant professor at the UVA School of Data Science. As a faculty member, uh, my responsibilities include research, teaching, and providing service to the school and the wider university. Uh, my background is in engineering and applied math. I earned my bachelor's and master's from uh, uh, Tehran Polytechnic in mechanical engineering. And I have a PhD in electrical and computer engineering from Kansas State University. So in my research, I'm interested to look at multi-component systems that evolve over time. These uh, systems are known as dynamical systems and they are all of, uh, around us, for example, from subcellular processes to uh, our metabolism system or even human population. A uh, traditional way of doing research is to use principles to basically model the components and then build up to describe the behavior of these systems. But they are often struggle to, to describe this higher order behaviors. Uh, also, our machine learning methods that are great in interpolation, they are not able to extrapolate and basically go beyond the confines of data. Uh, in my research, I like to provide a structure that enable us to control the systems and basically provide a mechanistic view of the systems. I enjoy applying my, uh, my research in health-related domains. Uh, for example, I've been thinking about brain as a dynamical system and basically probing the functions of the brain. Uh, uh, so this has the potential to uh, do diagnosis, early diagnosis for brain disorder, for example, or monitoring the neuromodulation of brain uh, when, we we are, when we are uh, studying the brain reaction to brain implants, for example. So in another exciting project, we are designing um, fully automated insulin pumps for type 1 diabetic patients. So these pumps are self-personalizing themselves to the patient and in a very safe but optimal way. If successful, uh, this approach will pave the way for other mobile health applications and significantly reduce the strain of chronic diseases. So I started from dynamical systems and control. I was looking at uh, uh, systems with multiple subsystems, for example, a, a vehicle, a car, where we have all of these subsystems that are working together. Then uh, in another attempt to basically uh, make it more general, I was looking at networked systems and how, for example, a process is going on over the system. And then when I face the, the real world problems, oftentimes we don't have the structure of these connections. And uh, this is where uh, our observation or data can come and help us to relax some of this requirement and look at these problems from uh, like a bird eye view and to be able to uh, describe the response of these systems to our inputs and actions. So that's where I, uh, I was bringing more data science tools to describe these systems. And uh, of course, uh, to be able to control them, you need to bring uh, tools from uh, signal processing, in, from engineering, and then statistics and statistical learning up to deep learning to be able to uh, make sense of all of these complexities. So this was a natural uh, evolution from for me to come from engineering to data science to be able to make sense of this complex system. Uh, I enjoy playing chess and uh, also cycling. 